I almost tell everybody to Washington DC yesterday, you know that, right? I told them, yo, we're gonna have the park at George Washington Park. That's in DC. So I I shoot. Alright, so this, so this debate's gonna be 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yeah, thank you. Alright, so let me set up my time right here. Give you one second. 45 minutes. Alright, so would you like to give the opening or the, or, or, or what? Yeah, Who yeah. wants to go first? He, he left it up to you. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. So then you'll you'll have the, the, the opening first and then he'll have the closing first, okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. Stop playing with me, man. <laughs> what now? All good? Let me know when I can go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing. All right, All right. two minute opening time starts now. 45 minutes, you should have gone. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are discussing whether or not Gentiles can be saved, and obviously I am of the opinion that biblically speaking, of course, Gentiles can be saved, the non-Israelites, and I'm talking about non-Israelites, Gentiles, according to the flesh, cat. So, um, I, as a Christian, I believe that Jesus is not just for the Israelites, but he was for the entire world, the Israelites first, then the rest of the nations. And so that's my position, and that's what we're going to be getting into. Let's rock. That's your opening? Yeah, just Right, so I had, uh, got yeah, yeah, tell me to break everything down. Yeah, he's... <laughs> <laughs> like, you want me to break something down? All right, um, my position on Gentiles is Gentiles always have context. So he's right when he says um, that Christians believe that Gentiles, meaning non-Israelites, can be saved. My position is that Gentile um, is only any scripture that's referring to Gentile strangers, heathen, X, Y, Z, on the subject of salvation is only talking about Israelites. Biblically speaking, the word Gentile just means going or nation. So by proxy, Israel would be a nation so they can be called Gentile. You can see that in Genesis 25 and 23, for example. So my position is just to show and prove that the promises of salvation was only given to the children of Israel. And if I can add, only the children of Israel are the children of God. And that's the only one that can get the promises or salvation. Uh, with that, I'm ready to rock. All right, let's go ahead and kick it off, man. Um, so, I guess I'll start it off with a question just like last time. Yeah. <laughs> I like that smirk, man. <laughs> I like this work. I like this work. Listen, I know you listen. I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna be like, yeah, he done learn. Then I'm gonna be the father. You gonna be the son. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. Bars, bars, bar, God. Shout out to my man. Yeah, I'm gonna Danny send you a so, okay, so when it comes to that... <laughs> it don't sound, it don't got the same effect. No, no, it's, it's, you know, I got my own little... Yeah, no, I know you got your own little... Yeah. So, so with the, with the non-Israelites, um, you're saying that non-Israelites cannot be saved. The salvation is only for, you know, Israelites. Born Israelites, you know, Israelites that are, are of the seed of Abraham, physically. Yeah, okay. physically. Okay, so... How do you interpret then, um, I guess, Romans 11? Obviously, it talks about how the Jews are the natural branches that were cut off, and then the wild olive was grafted in, um, and how they're not of Israel. As a matter of fact, he even starts off with saying, Now to you Gentiles, I say to you. Right? At first, he was speaking to the Israelites earlier in the chapter, and then now he's speaking to the Gentiles, who were not the natural branches. So I, I, I would... I obviously think that they were non-Israelites. That's what you would think. The subject matter of Romans the 11th chapter is, has God cast away his people? We agree, right? Correct. And he says, God forbid. Yes. Then the ending verse in Revelation, excuse me, in verse 26, it says, and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. We agree, right? Say that again, sorry. In verse 26, Romans 11 and 26, it says, and so all Israel shall be saved 
as it is written. Mm -hmm. We agree there, right? Yes. So how could the subject be about non-Israelites when the conclusion of everything that he says says, so all Israel shall be saved? Does it say all nations shall be saved? I, I agree. I don't, I don't think that all nations will be saved because not all nations will uh, come into belief. But it's, it specifically talks about how the Israelites were cut off. The natural branches mm -hmm. are the Israelites. Mm -hmm. They're cut off. And then so now the wild branches that are not originally part of the natural tree are now grafted in. Now the Israelites are the natural branch, are, are part of the natural branches. And so the unnatural ones or the wild ones obviously will be non-Israelite Gentiles. No, because the, whole, the most important part, the reason why it's called a wild olive tree is because this tree doesn't look like all trees. Because when you first go to Romans 11, uh, before we get to the wild olive tree, mm -hmm. I want to start at verse 13, if you don't mind. It says, For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I may, I'm the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by any means I may provoke, excuse me, provoke to emulation, then which are my flesh, it might save some of them. The, fle the only flesh that Paul has are Israelites. That's what he says according to Romans 9 and 4. So now when you go, it says... I'm going to go down to where you're talking about. It says, verse 16, For if the first fruit be holy, then the lump is holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if the sum of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree were grafted in. So that means that those branches are being brought back in as they once were broken off. I'll give a brief, brief uh, precept. Jeremiah 11 and 16. The Lord called by name a green olive tree, fair and goodly fruit, with the noise of a great tumult. He hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. Oh. That's how the olive trees got broken off. The branches got broken off of that olive tree. For the Lord of hosts that planted the tree hath pronounced evil against thee for an evil house. So when you go back to Romans, the 11th chapter, that wild olive tree is then being allowed to be grafted back in. Okay. So... Uh just, just reading this here. So it says, But if some of the branches were broken off, and you, although a wild olive shoot, were grafted in among the others, and now share in the nourishing root of the olive tree, do not be arrogant toward the branches. If you are, remember, it is not you who support the root, but the roots that supports you. Then you will say, Branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief. But you stand fast through faith. So do not become proud, but fear. For if God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. So these are not natural branches. They were never part of the tree in the first place. But now they're being grafted in. They're not natural to the tree. That's not true. And context and listening is an art. And he never answered verse 16. It says, for the first fruit be holy. The lump is also holy, and if the root be holy, so are the branches. Those other branches are never attached to the root. When the branches get broken off, that's why in the, in the metaphor, it talks about them being grafted back into a wild olive tree. Jeremiah 11 and 16 that I just uh, uh, spoke about that he did not answer also speaks about the Lord bringing a fire to that same olive tree. So then, you, where, where does it say that they're being grafted back in, the, the wild Thou was saving, I'm sorry, um, if some of the branches, in verse 17, if some of the branches are broken off and thou being a wild olive tree, the tree is talking about the first fruit be holy and the lump that is also holy and the root. That's the tree. Yeah. And so then it says, and thou being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them mm -hmm. and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Yeah. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root. Mm -hmm. What this is talking about is Judah and Israel, or if you want to say Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom, some people say that. Because when Christ was on the scene, Christ said, I'm not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, right. The tribes of Israel as a nation was not there. They were cut off. Another excellent example is the prodigal son. In the prodigal son, you had the two sons. The two, you always notice it's always in twos because you had Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom. So the Northern Kingdom gets kicked out. He's wallowing himself in the swine. And when he comes back to the house and is accepted of the father, who's angry about that? The son that stayed. And so Judah didn't want those sons, excuse me, didn't want his brother to come back. 
Isaiah 11 and 13 is another example when it says the envy of Judah and the vexation of Ephraim shall go away. Mm -hmm. So in verse 26, which is what I asked earlier, when it says, and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. The subject is about Israel not being cast away right. according to the first verse. Right. Verse 13, when it says, I'm 14 rather, when it says, I provoke the emulation, them which are my flesh, that's found in Romans 9 and 4. Them are my flesh who are Israelites, mm -hmm. to whom pertain the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the services, and the promises. Mm -hmm. right. Right. So, so this, okay. Okay, I got you. So, so when you said I didn't answer about 16, I, I feel like I did because when I add, you said that they're being grafted back in, but in this context, it doesn't say that. They were never part of the natural tree to begin with. So that's what I'm saying here when it says, but if you, I'm sorry, but if some of the branches were broken off and you, although a wild olive shoot, were grafted in, these people were not broken off of this tree in the first place. They're bringing, they're being grafted into the tree and now taking part in the mm -hmm. nourishment. So you have the natural branches that were cut off before and now there's room for the unnatural branches to be grafted in. But like when you, when you bring up, like you said, uh, uh, Judah and who else was it? Ephraim. Uh, Ephraim. Are, I mean, Israel, I think I said Israel. Israel. And so Judah and, it, and Israel. Are, is Judah and Israel both part of the natural um, tree? Until he burned it. In Jeremiah 11 chapter, which I just read, mm -hmm. he separated. He kicked out the whole northern kingdom. He kicked out yeah. nine tribes. Right, right. Yeah. So, so, wait, so I have a question. Yeah. What, did, what did those nine tribes become? Uh, they became the, the other kingdom. No, no. When they got kicked out, what did they become? What, what kind of things are you talking about? So in 2 Kings, the 17th chapter, when he kicked out the northern kingdom, and so they kicked out as a nation, so Ephraim, Manasseh, Issachar, Gad, Naphtali, etc., right, right. what did they become when they got kicked out of Israel? I don't know. That's the Gentiles that it's talking about. Right, right, right. Where, where does it mention that they're the Gentiles? Where, where does it say they're the Gentiles? Okay, so let me give you a prophecy. No, where, where, no, where does it say they're the Gentiles? That's a, the word Gentile means nation. We agree, right? Yeah, but you're, you're saying that no. So I'm saying that the, gen, the Gentiles biblically are not Israelites. Where no, that's is, what you're saying. Yeah, but that's the Even Bible. in the Zion Bible, Bible Dictionary, to say Gentiles are usually non-Israelites. Yeah, so, where, so where, but my question is, where does it call them, where does it identify them as the Gentiles? This context. If you listen to my opening statement, Gentile just means nation. So where are they called the Gentiles? So, uh, bring it, so I'll give you an example. This is Genesis 48, since you want to know exactly that's a, that's where. A, that's a different one. So. No, it's right on the subject. Okay. It's right on the subject, because this is prophecy. Genesis 48, when Jacob, excuse me, when Jacob was talking, or Israel was talking to Joseph, mm -hmm. and he blessed Ephraim, this is what he said to Ephraim. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son, I know it. He shall become a people, and he shall also be great. But truly his younger brother, which is talking about Ephraim, shall be greater than he, and his seed shall become a multitude of nations. That word in the Greek or Hebrew excuse me, would be Gentile. So now, right here, we're reading Jacob or Israel tell Joseph that his son would become a multitude of nations or a multitude of Gentiles. So can you show me what nations did they become? Well, actually, that, that ties in with the covenant that's given to Abraham and how he will be a father of many nations. And how is it? Because the Bible says that it's through faith that Abraham was made a father to many that's nations. That's not answering my question. It is what, answering your question. What nations yeah, did know? What yeah, nations that, did they become? What nations did they become? They're not called Ephraim. So what yeah, nations did the, they it's become? It's the church. They're, they're believers. They're the what church. nation did they become? They're the church. They're the so hear this. He don't know yeah. the nation, right? They're the church. See, the, every, uh, you can do all this all you want, but you're not to answer tell my me question. What, you didn't tell me I'm answering the your question. I'm telling you, the Gentiles in Romans the 11 chapter, mm -hmm. Romans the 11 chapter, it says, so all Israel shall be saved yeah. because northern kingdom Israelites. Yeah, but are, were they the, are they the natural branches? Is my, was my question. They were natural till the branches were broken off. I got it. They were, were they broken off according to Jeremiah 11 chapter? No, so, no, I got were the it. branches broken off? Yes. And this okay. Is my, but this is, I'm not, see, I'm not disagreeing that, some, that, that the Israelites were broken off. My, here's where, where we disagree here. You're saying that the wild, that the wild one, right, that's being grafted in, you're saying that they were part of the tree in the first place, but then got broken off and now they're being brought back in. It doesn't say that. Yeah. It says that it they says, were. It says they were wild and they were never part of the tree in the first place. That's this not what the they're blessing. saying. That's what you're lying about. Well, right, right, right. That's, 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 that's not what it they're saying. saying. It literally says because of their disbelief. If it was about other nations, you. if it was about other nations, mm -hmm. it wouldn't say. And so all Israel shall be saved. No, that's not. It would say all nations shall be saved. 
This argument is that nations can be saved. This is this is why I said the word Gentile always has context. So it says, and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written, they shall come out of Zion, the deliverer, and shall turn ungodliness away from Jacob. It doesn't say turning ungodliness away from everyone. Right, well, right, that, right. but that's in that verse. You're, you're still, you're, you're, you're uh, quote mining. We're talking I'm not about quote mining. Yeah, but I'm look, context mining. But, but you're not. But you're not because you're going to another verse that has nothing to do with this right here. Of course, the, of course, in talking about Jacob, we know that God's going to bring back Jacob. He has a remnant. We already know about this. When it says, so I'll go directly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me land this. When we're talking about here. These the the wild In the verse wild 17, branches, right? yes, the wild branches. Um, uh, so, but if some of the branches were broken off, talking about the natural branches, right? All uh, and you, although a Who's wild you? olive shoot, the Gentiles. No, that's that's where we disagree. But it literally says, "I'm speaking to you, Gentiles." Yeah. That's literally how he starts off. Right. Exactly. Look, look. He says in verse 13, "Now I'm speaking no, to you, I, Gentiles." I'm saying, no, no. When I'm saying you, I'm not saying that he's not talking to Gentiles. Okay. The you in verse 17. It's talking about the first fruit and the lump. So in verse 16, when it says, For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. The root is the tree. Right. The branches is what's breaking off the tree. That's right. And so now when it says, And if some of the branches be broken off that same tree, right. that's the root. Right. And then thou being a wild olive tree, the thou is that root or that tree that is now wild because the branches is broken off. The branches are being put back on. The same tree. And, and so, uh, That's uh, why it's called a wild olive tree. So no, it, you, you can't say that it's, it's called a wild olive tree if it was part of the natural tree in the first place. It's the not wild. Is, it's natural. Look, 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 it does make sense because look, here's the distinction. There's two things being called out here. You got the natural and you got the wild. These are the two two identifiers that we have in Romans 11. So That's you what have, you're saying. No, th th okay. Let me, let me see here. Now I'm speaking to you Gentiles. Inasmuch then as I am an apostle to the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry, right. in order somehow to make my fellow Jews jealous. Okay, so what wait, version are you, what are you reading this right is, now? This is uh, ESV. Okay, I don't read the ESV. I'm going to read the KJV. It's more accurate, and I'm going to read more the accurate. same verse that you read. It says, now I speak, on, for man. I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I'm the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office, if by any means... I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. There so now, if you want to make these Gentiles be non-Israelites, who's Paul's flesh well, in this verse? Well, so the, here's my question. No, I, I'm I'm saying, I answered your question. I, I'm, I knew my you, question. No, you didn't answer. You just gave me another question. That's no, I didn't. Answer. What question did but you I, answer? I, I'll deal with it. I'll, I'll, no, no, I don't want you to deal with it. Okay. Tell me what question so, I didn't so answer. So the, the question that you didn't deal with was uh -huh. him speaking to the Gentiles and the distinction he makes with the wild branch and right. the natural. Okay, right? so now I'm going to respond to that directly. Okay. I'm telling you the Gentiles is Israelites. So now I'm answering that question. And I'm telling you that in verse 16, the, the lump and the holy and the root and the branches are all the same. And in 17, and if some of the branches are broken off, is the same branches that was broken off according to Jeremiah 11 chapter. And the thou being a wild olive tree is the root of verse 16. So now clearly answered your question. So now I need my question answered. Who is the emulation of them which are his flesh to Paul? Okay, so according to scripture. So these are the Israelites. So now they who? They're, they're Israelites of his flesh, right? So, oh, that, that's good. Yep, 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 that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So if he's talking about the Israelites, that's the ones he wants to make jealous, correct? No. That's the one that he wants to save. That's why you can't read that raggedy ass ESV. Romans 11. It says, this is what Romans 11 and 14 says. I'm using what you just read. You just read. I didn't read jealous. Oh, 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 you said said, right? That's, I said, that's another if word I made, for jealousy. No. If I may by any means provoke the emulation to them that are my flesh. Yes. So and might, the, and might save them. Who are his flesh? I'm glad you said that. No, no. Uh, please just answer straight up. Who's the flesh? Uh, can I read the scripture? It's right, it's right here. Who are Israelites? Thank you. So his flesh are the Israelites. And who's he talking to? He's talking to Israelites. No, he says he's talking. No, all right. So now it's my turn. It says that he's talking to Gentiles. No, no, but I'm, what I'm saying on, is he's talking let, let to. Let me cook, man. I'll be done with this so you can understand. When I say Israelites. The Gentiles in Romans the eleventh chapter are Israelites. But you, I don't want you to be confused. I know I understand what you're saying, okay. but here's where the, the the conflation is. When you say that that the ones that he's uh, you know bringing to emulation and wanting to save are of his flesh, which you said are the Israelites, that means he's talking to non-Israelites about his brothers. So he's saying about the Israelites to the Gentiles. 
that God, in order to provoke them to jealousy or emulation so that some of them may be saved, has grafted you, non-Israelites, uh, non into the tree so that they may be provoked. That's the whole here's how that's a lie. Oh, oh, hey, hey, Shemaya, here's how that's a lie. Because when it comes to save, he says, and so all Israel shall be saved. Through, the through emulation. What? Through what? what what's the, the what, what I'm, about, I'm going right to the emulation. Okay. The emulation and save some of them of his flesh, they're rejecting the Israelites in Rome. The whole argument in Rome, Galatia, Cappadocia is that if they could be Israelites, but they ain't circumcised on the eighth day, they can't come back home. So when we go back, the reason why I reference Romans, the ninth chapter, Romans the ninth chapter help you understand Romans the eleventh chapter. Let's read it. Romans nine and four. Who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption? Now ain't no other nation can get adopted now. Right. Because right. this just said right. Israel right. pertain the adoption. Right. The glory. Them first. It, say, it don't say them first. Right. Right. It says, Who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption, right. the glory, right. the covenants, right. the giving of the law, right. the services of God, right. and the promises? Right. That's what the scriptures say. Right. Right. Whose fathers and of whom is concerned in the flesh Christ came. Now it's saying Christ came for the Israelites. Can you finish that verse though? I'm, which one? Verse five? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep. No, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna read a couple more verses, okay. if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, no. Who is over all? God blessed forever. Who's over all? Who? Who is over all? Who? God blessed forever. Jesus, oh. Jesus is over all. God blessed forever. This says, for who the fresh Christ came, Most who is all, and God is blessed forever. They ain't saying Jesus is God. Yo, That's all. Come, come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. We call him God over all, man. No, it's not. But God anyway. is over all, but he ain't Christ. That's the last one. That's the last one. That's the last crazy as hell. So now, verse 6 says, neither as, neither as though the word of God have taken an effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. So being in Israel doesn't make you Israel meaning living in the oh, land. No, so now that's, that's not wait, about the land. Let's yeah. keep well let's keep going to see yeah. if I'm right or you're right. Okay, let's, let's keep go, going. Let's go. So Verse being of says, Israel doesn't make you this, Israel. What right? we're about to mm, read eliminates every nation. Mm. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Right. Right. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Mm -hmm. right. Verse 8. That is, they which are the children of flesh, these are not the children of God. Right. So right. anybody that's the children of the flesh are not children of God, mm -hmm. but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Mm -hmm. So Edomites, Moabites, Jebusites, Canaanites, Ammonites, Ishmaelites, none of them are the children of God, so right. now, now, according to what we read. Okay, can I respond to this? Go ahead. Okay, because now, because that was a lie, what you just said, and I say that respectfully. Why? You just read this. Well, no, you misinterpreted what you just read. Now, let me, let me, now, now, now it's my turn. Let's, let's read it correctly now. 20 more minutes, 20 more minutes. Let's, let's, yeah. 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 But but look, yeah, I knew you yeah. wanted to put some smoke on it. Yeah, yeah, that is, it's good. You know, I'm yeah. getting fired up. Mm -hmm. It says, but it is not as though the word of God has failed, for not all who are descended from Israel belong to Israel. So you just read that and you it went right over your head. All who descend from Israel are not of Israel. So just because you are a descendant of Israel by in your flesh doesn't make you of Israel. So it shows you it's not of the flesh; it's of God. Now how so? He continues. He says, and not all the not and not all are children of Abraham because they are his seed. You you just disqualified yourself because you're saying that you have to be saved as an Israelite, physically an Israelite, in order to take part in the promises and the covenant. It just said that just because you are a seed of Abraham does not mean you are of Abraham. You cut yourself, man. So and, but you wanted to read that fast and skip over that. Let's keep going. It says here. It says here, so let me read that part again. And not all the children of Abraham, uh, and not all are children of Abraham because they are of his seed. But through Isaac shall your offspring be named. This means, Paul tells us what this means. This means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God. So just because you are Israelites by the flesh does not mean you're children of God. And, what, and, and this, goes back, this, goes, this goes to John 1 because you said it eliminates all the nations. This goes to John 1, what it talks about. To whoever believes in his name, verse 12, he gave right to be called sons of God, not being born of man or the flesh, but by the will of God. We just read. Done. We just read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be too long. Because he just lied like shit and y'all ate it up. I read what you read and you twisted this up. I did not read it. Yes. Here's what, here's what oh, you didn't read it. I know you didn't read it. First of all, 
I read the verse and I said, just because you're in Israel doesn't make you Israel. You I said that. that. Did, yeah. Did I not say that? You're, yes or no? You're trying to say in Israel the land, not that's, what, that's exactly what I'm no, saying. It's, so it's now, descending right? of Israel. So now, let's go. Come on, but it man. says, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Why is that important? He want to clip this debate to 45 minutes because he want to go battle Arabs. <laughs> I understand he want to run the side. So now, but are the Arabs not Ishmaelites? <laughs> no. Are they... What? The Arabs no, no, not, not then, that's debatable. But, but, but no. Arabs in general, yeah, are yeah, they not yeah, sure, 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 Are sure. they sons of Abraham? Uh, yeah, some of them. No, they're not, not according to what we read. Why not? Right. Because it says, neither, are, neither because they are the children of the flesh, right. are they the children of, excuse me, be, I'm sorry. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Right. Ishmael had seven, eight, excuse me, Abraham had eight sons. Right. Eight. The children of the flesh <laughs> are not the sons of Abraham. Right. right. So Ishmael. <laughs> And the yeah. other five brothers, excuse me, yeah. other five sons, excuse me, he had seven sons, the other five sons that he yeah. had in oh, Genesis, yeah. the 25th yeah. chapter, yeah. are not right. the sons right. or seed right. of Abraham. That's, right. That's why it says, but in Isaac not shall thy seed be called. Not, right. 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 not just now. That is, this ain't got nothing to do with Israel. Right. He's eliminating all of the other sons that Abraham had. Right. Remember, right. he said, oh, that Ishmael might live. He gave that nigga a damn blessing and said, keep it moving. That's it. Right. But the promise, right. but the promise, right. he gave right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the promise, but now, because this is important, this is, that is, the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise. The promise was only given specific, so let's read who the promise. For this is the word of promise that this time I will come and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also conceived by one, our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done good or evil, but that according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. Verse 13, I'm sorry, verse 12. It is said unto the elder, excuse me, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Right. The right. Lord right. chose to give the promise to Jacob, right. not to Esau. Right. And so right. that's who belongs right. the promise. Right. So the other right. nations right. that you're talking right. about, right. but you still can't answer, right. Right. what other nations did Ephraim become? And so this is what this is what we are answering. So you you're just, not. When you talked about children of the flesh, right? Because you're not ch because the ones who are born of the flesh are not the children of God. Abraham obviously had children of the flesh, correct? They had, he had physical children. This is what we're talking about. Well, no, but you just said that this isn't talking about Israel, but it literally starts off with, just because you are descendants of Israel does not make you of Israel. It's the whole, the whole, con wait, hold on. The context is talking about Israel. You can't separate it. It's talking about Israel. Well, okay, good. So then what, what you need to understand here is that it's, it's making a distinction between you, you being born of the flesh, right? And then saying that you are a child of Abraham because you are related to him physically uh, versus being related to him because of your faith. You are a child of Abraham because you believed, not because of your, uh, your, your how you're born. This is the whole context of this. This is why if you keep reading down in Romans 9. Yeah, keep yeah, going down. Yeah, we keep going down. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, we, we're going to do it. Don't do it. We're going to do it. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead, okay, do it. Okay. Do it. Look, do it. So, so, so this is what it says. Wait. We keep going down, okay, keep right? Going. In order to make known the riches of his glory for uh -huh. vessels of mercy, right. which he has prepared beforehand for his glo for glory. Uh, verse 23. Okay. All right, so now I verse 24. I know where you're going. Yeah, right. get right there. Get it. Right there. Even us whom he has called, not from the Jews only, but from the, the Gentiles. Get the coffin. Get the coffin. As indeed he says in Hosea, those who were not my people, I will call my people. And her who was not beloved, I will call beloved. He's not talking. He Israel was beloved, right? Was Israel beloved? Absolutely. Was Israel his people? Absolutely. So the people that's not his, called his people, he's now calling his people Absolutely. because of Christ. Ooh. This is old, this is the whole thing. Let's get ready to respond. I, I can respond to that. Yeah. Hey, y'all get that coffee. I started to bring a coffee. Remember I told y'all I was going to bring a coffee? We had the body we bag. We had the body bag and everything. Right. Now, let me tell y'all something. Remember I told you, and I, I'm, I'm, you know, you, you close. You close <laughs> to being a good debater. You close. Now, in Romans 9 and 24 that he just read, he said, Even us whom he have called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Remember I told you, the word Gentile means nation, of which Israel is a nation. And you have to look at the context. And when you read the very next verse, it says, As he also saith in O.C. He's going to leave after this, y'all. As he also saith in O.C., 
I will call them my people, which were not my people, right. and her beloved, which was not my beloved. Yeah. And then he asked me, Israel is his people, right? I said, yeah, Israel is beloved, right? He said, yeah. So he's going to call the people that was not his people, his people. And I said, yes. Why did I say that? Because if it says, as it also saith in O.C., you know what you got to go do? Go to Hosea. You got to go to Hosea. Hosea said. Now let's see what Hosea said. Hosea said something like that. So now let's, let's go to Hosea. Let's go to Hosea. So Hosea said, let's go to Hosea 1 and 9. Then said, God, call his name low and mine. Now for backdrop time sake, this one Hosea had daughters of Tumi. So children of whoredoms and reference to Israel, right? So then it said, then God said, call his name low and mine, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. So now here is the Lord cutting off the children of Israel from being his people. Verse 10, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass in that place where it was said to them, ye are not my people. There he, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. So who is that talking to? Who is that talking to? Who is that saying to? In verse 11, it says, then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel shall be gathered together and appointed themselves one head, which is Christ, and they shall come up out of the land. So that verse that Paul is quoting is only talking about Israel. So the Gentiles in that verse is Israel. Hey, 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 what, what land is this? I should stand like this for the whole rest of the world. What land is this? What land is this that they're coming out of? <laughs> you said, it, it said, well, the verse says, in the place, it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said to them, ye are not my people. Yeah, what place? That's is any place. What place? The places that they were scattered <laughs> to. So the, oh, good, well, time out. So in the place that they're scattered to, in these places, they're not called the people of God. Is that correct? Just like Paul is going to these Gentiles, All right, so, these Israelites in so, Rome, so they're in he's a, telling them so that they a, are the children so, of God. Got right, you, right. but they're in a land where people are not called his people. Yes. This is the point. They're, yes. they're now scattered to where they're, the, the, they're in a land where people are not the people of God because they're not Israelites, and now they're being called out of that land. And so in the context of Romans 9, he literally ad addresses this to Israelites and says, just because you are of Israel according to the flesh, that doesn't make you of Israel. Israel. That's the whole point. So, again, you keep messing up. Listen, man. Wait, wait. Here's, here's my question. Wait, here's my question. Okay? Because you're saying that you're talking about nations. You think you're, you're identifying Israel as the nations. So, the Lord did that. Okay, the Lord told I, Ephraim he would be nations. I you don't you. know who I, they are. You already you. admitted you don't know who okay, they are. Okay, no worries. So, all right. Do all for right. me. Go to Isaiah 49. Before we get to Isaiah 49, I don't have a problem going there. I just want to clean up what you tried to run from. I, I, I addressed it directly. No, you didn't. Okay. When I gave you Romans 9 and 24 and told you OC and said those are people, you tried to run back up. I was in but Hosea that, again. This prophecy was fulfilled for the children of Israel. No, it's through the Gentiles. Oh, it's no, the it's Gentiles. not. It's fulfilled in the it Gentiles. Doesn't say, it doesn't say Gentiles are going to be called this people. It, it literally says out of the land this who just are, said, people are not called. In Hosea 1 and 9, the Lord said Israel would not be his people. Isaiah 49 and then, cut this. And then the very next verse, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. And where it was said, Ye are not my people, there ye shall be. In what land? So even if you want to argue, even if you wanted to try to argue mm -hmm. that non-Israelites would be able to come back in, you have to agree that Paul is quoting Hosea 1 that's talking about Israelites being called back to God. At, no, so that, that's part of it, which is it's not part of it. That it is, is it, which is also part of Romans 11. Okay, so where's the being inclusion called, of other that, nations in Hosea 1? Well, well, so this is what I'm saying here. No, I ain't letting you get away. Well, that's, I already answered that. No, I, where's I, the inclusion I, of not, other nations? Me, I'm just asking talk. my question. I'm going to be quiet. Okay, go ahead. Where's the inclusion of other nations in Hosea 1, 9 through 11? Right. I need right. that answer. All right, thank you. So when you said that they're coming out of the land yes. by which the people are not called my people, yes. That's where he's talking about and says they will soon yes. one day be called his people, yes. which is what Paul does. He draws that in Romans 9 and he draws that in Romans 9, talking about the Gentiles. And, and my I, I, I directly so just answered Where it. in Hosea 1, 9 I just, 11, I just where does it include it. other nations? I just no, no, I ain't actually to reference it. Read the verses and I tell just, me where I, other no, nations no, no, are no, in no, there. See, what, you're, what you're doing is, is when you when you read Romans 9 and you took it out of context, I'm putting it in the I context. 
after the show, context. You did because you said you in Hosea. You inserted non Israelites in Hosea 1 9. Let, you're not letting me finish. But you talk. inserted that in there. No, I, I didn't insert nothing. I so just read it. So show me where in Hosea. I just read it. So can you read Hosea he, 1 9 he, through 11 he, and sure. show me where non Israelites is in there? Sure, right. sure, no worries. So Hosea 1 9 and 11. Nine. And then we're going to go to Isaiah 49. 10 right? more minutes. Because 10 more minutes. We're going to show you the nations are, are non Israelites. And after this, guy, I know you want to do Isaiah 49. Um, so after I beat you out of this one, I'll beat you on Isaiah oh, no, 49. I'm going to lay you down on this one, man. So look. Yet, uh, verse nine, and the Lord said, "Call his name, not my, call his name, uh, not my people, for you are not my people, and I am not your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be like the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. And in the place where it was said to them, you are not my people, it shall be said to them, uh, children of the living God." And the children of Judah and the children of Israel shall be gathered together, and they shall appoint for themselves one head, and they shall go up, uh, go up from the land. For for great shall be the day of of Jezreel. Now here's the question: Why? How is how is it? That this is the answer. How is it that Israel is going to be uh, as numerous as the stars? It's not by through the flesh. It's through the faith in Jesus Christ. It's, but it's by that is the, the you asked me how does Hosea talk? Talk about other nations being grafted in. What I'm showing you is, is that it gives That's you the not same. What I said. Come on, come on. Man. I said how in Hosea you, you one, you cut me off. I did, but I didn't say that. You just repeated something. You asked me where that. how you asked me where in Hosea uh, uh, one I, nine through eleven mm -hmm. does it talk about other nations? Right. That's what you asked That's me. I'm, I'm literally answering to that. <laughs> literally. Right. Literally answering to that. So when it says here that Israel will be as numerous as the stars and will also be called out of the land from which they were called not my people yes. in the Gentile land yes. and they will be brought out and after they're brought out they will be as numerous as the stars this goes back to the covenant that God made with Abraham that says that you will be as numerous as the stars your descendants and and Paul says it's not through the flesh but it's through faith in Jesus it's because of the faith in the Messiah that Abraham grew not because of Israel uh, uh, According to the flesh. This is why I'm talking about the nations here. See, you're trying to say that the nations are Israelites. I want to show you Isaiah 49, 6 that shows that they're not. I'm not I didn't say that the nations are Israelites. That's not what I said. I said the word nation or Gentile can be Israelites. Is, is the what, what he's doing is called replacement theology. No, I'm not. His, your art, I'm there not is saying no, that Israel there is, is no, a place. There is no scripture in here, in, well, no verse in here, in Hosea 1, 9 through 11, that says that other nations are going to be joined. It clearly says that the children of Israel are not God's people, but they'll be called God's people. And when you make it not about a fleshly thing, in the same Romans, the ninth chapter, verse 29, it says, and as Isaiah said before, except the Lord of Sabbath had left us a seed, we'd be like Sodom and be made like unto Gomorrah. So if the seed of Israel did not matter, or let's just let's say if the seed said of that. Israel, man, but then where are the other nations? Because what you want us to believe said, is that, that. The, what you want us to believe <laughs> is that when it said what you want us to believe is that when it says in Romans about the children of Israel, the children being called children of God. That this includes non-Israelites. Yeah, you asked me where the nations are coming from. You They're not. The no, I asked you where is other nations coming from in verses one nine through eleven, and mm -hmm. you didn't show that. Did. It only shows by nation, okay. Judah and Israel. Okay, that's all it so shows. So when when Paul here applies this to the Gentiles, he's not applying it. That's replacement theology. He literally does. He says not of the Jews only, but of the Gentiles as well, because you're not an Israelite. Because you're descended from Israel. The context I'm of that? To, I'm trying to tell you where the nations are coming the from. Con, no, that's not true. Go you to Isaiah 49.6, please. You are, using, you are absolutely using replacement theology. No, because using inclusion, you're saying, inclusion what, theology. Inclusion, replacement, yeah. it's not Bible theology. It is. It ain't right. got nothing so to do go with go the to Bible. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. So let's see if there's inclusion, okay? So when he says here about the Messiah, right, the servant of the Lord, he says, it's too, great a, it's too light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the preserved of Israel. Who are the tribes of Jacob? Israel. Israel. Who's the preserved of Israel? Israel. Right, and then, that would be the remnant, right? Well, my friend, if you're going to ask me a question, why is he saying Jacob and Israel twice if they're the same nation? Well, because he, he actually qualifies it. He says the 12 tribes of Jacob and the preserved of Israel. What's Who the are difference? the preserved? 
because the because there's a remnant that God always keeps for Himself of Israel. There's, there's always, but they're all right? Israel, right? Yeah, they're all Israel. Is that a pattern in the Bible? I will have mercy on Jacob, and yet choose Israel. That ain't got nothing to do with preserve. No, that no. That's just the way that, that He talks. That doesn't, that doesn't, that's no. That doesn't. He doesn't Isaiah say Jacob fourteen and, and one. Say, Isaiah fourteen and one. I will have mercy on Jacob, and yet choose Israel. Is that not? The same nation. Yeah, but what so I'm, I'm asking, why no, is he saying it well, twice? You, know, you have to bring that up. But what I'm saying here is, is right here in Isaiah. Bring it up. It's the same context. Well, why is he not, saying it not, twice? It's not the same context. I just told you. You have the tell. You have the twelve tribes, and then you have the preserved of Israel. Who are the preserved of Israel? Okay, me personally. Not I don't want to say me personally. Me biblically, when it says you, know, it's you personally, you right. <laughs> you right. No, it's not. So when it says Isaiah 49, um, which verse was it? Oh, sorry, six, six, right? Yeah. But I would I, like thing to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. If he have them reserved, he don't have to restore them. So They're already reserved to him. Well, not, the reason why he said doesn't matter. They're still reserved to him. Paul makes the same reference in Romans the 11th chapter more specifically. So now, if he has a pattern of saying Jacob and Israel, Jacob and Israel, to you I'm assuming the light to the Gentiles mean that the Gentiles get to come and join. Not, not just that, my friend. But it's five the, more minutes. Five more minutes. But the, salva the, the salvation is going to them because look, the twelve tribes of Jacob. You said that's Israel. Yes. And then he mentions the remnant or the preserved of Israel. Right. That's Israel. So right. Israel's accounted for in the right. first in the first clause. Right. Right. So then he says, but I will also. Make you, Make a, light you a light to the Gentiles right. or the nations. And your position that is that that's other nations, that, right? That, that it, it's not Israelites because he it already mentioned Israelites. absolutely Israelites. But he just mentioned the Israelites. So but, if he mentioned all the 12 tribes, he mentioned the preserved of Israel, then right. next, now it's, now I will make you a light to the Gentiles right. so that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. So that's right. all. So let's why, why stop at verse 6? That's why we can't keep reading. Well, I'm, just, I'm just asking, so who is that? Wait, I'm going to answer Keep reading. Verse uh, seven. Thus saith the Lord. Um, first of all, if I start at no, no, I'll, I'll do that just for time's sake. <laughs> Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel. God damn it! Just start off right. Just right. Start right. It don't say the Redeemer of everybody. It say the Redeemer of Israel. And the whole. This is right. The very next verse. He just said he's the Redeemer of everybody. He did not say he's the Redeemer of them. In verse six. The word Gentile. And this is why I ask you them questions. You can't say who the other uh, Ephraim became. Even though the Lord said Ephraim would become many Gentiles. Get away from this. How? What you mean by how? How? Why don't you tell me how? See, see, Can you tell me who the nations are? The answer is right here. Can you tell me who the nations are? The rest of the world. And also by Hosea 1 when he said you're going to not be my people. That's and, how. And, and, Paul, and so and Paul, Paul went the there to be the light to the Gentiles based on them not being his people in Hosea 1. Based on Genesis 48 that we read where Ephraim was told he was going to be many nations. What did that mean? Ephraim was going to get scattered and be called by many different nations. So the reason why Hosea, I mean, excuse me, Isaiah 49 says a light to the Gentiles because that's what we are today when we go wake up Israelites. The very next verse in verse it 7 says, called you out. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, mm -hmm. and his Holy One to whom man despiseth. So now if the other nations despise Israel, which the Lord is acknowledging, why would he save them? He says, to whom the nations abhorreth. Now the nations hate Israel. To servants of rulers, kings mm -hmm. shall see arise. Princes also shall worship because the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel shall choose easy, thee. Easy. He's not choosing other nations. He is. And so let me let me just break down what you just there ain't read. There no other because, nation. Because, Two minutes. Gotcha. Two minutes. So, because, so not every nation is against Israel. Not all the nations and the Gentiles are against According Israel. According to Psalms 83, no. every nation is against well, Israel. Well, well, no, because what you have here, you have nations that are now coming into the and believe no, through not. the Messiah. Yes, no, he, he literally just said here, the 12 tribes of Jacob. No. I'm making it. It's too easy. That's your position. It's too easy. But you just said, too, no, you said what, that some nations are not. This, Psalms 83 no, this, said they, this, the nations are confederate yeah, against yeah, Israel. Yeah, but not all of them. That's because, cap. No, yeah, not That's all. Cap. So look, right the here, right here, it says says it, hold on, let me, right here it says here. Verse he says it's too light a thing. It's too easy, man. To save Israel. Too easy. Too easy. Yeah. To save Israel. To save Israel. To save but Israel. So, it's so, too easy. Let so, me land it. Let me land it. It's too easy for me to make you a light uh, a light to the to, to bring. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me just read it. 
uh, to be a light to uh, my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the preserved of Israel. It's too easy for me to do that for you. So what I'm also what I'm also going to do to show you that I am God is I'm also going to bring salvation to the rest of the world because I didn't call them first. It's too easy. So what he's showing you, he's doing something different and more than what he did in the past. In the past, he worked with just Israel. Now he's going to expand it to the rest of the world. That's what he does. See, Israel is already accounted for. Twelve tribes. You said that's Israel. The preserved of Israel. I didn't say that. You did say that's Israel. All right. I said it's all Israel. Wait, can I respond to that? Respond in the two minutes and in two minutes. Okay. That's okay. it. So respond. The very next verse says that man despised Israel. The nation abhorred Israel. The servants and rulers and kings going to see Israel rise. Princes are going to worship because the Lord is faithful and the Holy One of Israel shall choose thee. So if that's what the very next verse says, you can't make the Gentiles there. I'm going to go right into my two minutes. That's cool. Do you want to go last or do you want to no, go? You want me to go first? Yeah, it's, it's up to you. He went last, last time. So okay, well, you can go first this time. Okay, so go ahead. I'll two minutes, right two minutes. Go ahead. Just the closing. Closing. Because he got to run to the average. <laughs> they easier than me. they easier than me. <laughs> All right, man. So, guys, just to wrap this up, man, we did two debates here. And let's give it up for uh, everybody that participated, man. Um, I mean this in all genuineness. Uh, this was fun. I had a good time with you, Cap, for real. Um, and, uh, man, sh you, you know, you sharpened me today, for real. So I appreciate that. Um, yeah, yeah, you know. Hey, hey, you know, humility, man. You know, you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. So so just to close off, guys, what we, what we got to is, we saw, according to uh, according to Paul, both in Romans 9 and in Romans 11, uh -huh. we saw that salvation goes not just to the Jews, but also to the Gentiles. Yeah. And so what the Hebrew Israelites have to do here is they have to also say that the Gentiles are also the Israelites. Everybody They're also the Israelites. You Israelite, you Israelite, you know, you Israelite, you know. But, but, but this is crazy because in the context, and I was surprised that he went to Romans 9, it literally told us that you're not of Israel just because you're born of Israel. You're not the seed of Abraham just because you come from Abraham. But it's by faith that you are a seed of Abraham. You are a Jew, according to Romans 2. You are a Jew inwardly, not outwardly. You are circumcised inwardly, not outwardly. That's that's Romans chapter 2. We're in Romans. We should have brought that up. We've more time. We went through it. But what we see here is we got Isaiah 49, 6 that also deals with this directly. It names off Israel all together. The 12 tribes of Jacob and the preserved of Israel. But I will also make you a light to the Gentiles. Yeah. These are non-Israelites now. Right. So that my salvation may reach just Israel? No. no. Oh. So that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. Not because Israel scattered everywhere, but because there's nations that are everywhere that are going to come into the belief of the Messiah through his work, and they're calling him Lord of Lords, King of Kings, because he not just saved Israel, but he saved the Gentiles as well. Amen. 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 Hey, I realize now. I realize now why he's running. Cause, and if we would have did this battle first, he wouldn't even stay for the second round. He'd have been running. Out. The last verse in Isaiah forty-nine and twenty-six says, "I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh; they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know." They say all flesh. They say some flesh. It says, "All flesh shall know that I am the Lord and Thy Savior and the Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob." You notice it doesn't have to say all of them because if you see Jacob, if you see Israel, in some context, if you see Gentiles, it's the same exact thing. Dude, so what we learn here before I go into it, first give all of y'all a hand. I appreciate y'all coming out. Uh, first yeah. time meeting the brother, it was a beautiful Ooh. build, especially for two brothers. I've never engaged with him at all, and so for us to engage this way. It's definitely respectful. I give you a prop for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, with that said, I whipped his ass. I just got thrown out. Um, <laughs> when we put it down, when we, when we, Anyway, when it comes to this subject of Gentile, and I hope y'all go back and listen, Genesis 48 and 18, if it tells Ephraim he's going to become nations, if Hosea clearly says they're not going to be the children of God, they're going to be called the children of God, do not fall for replacement theology. 
you can't be a spiritual Asian, you can't be a spiritual nothing. So you can't make Israel just go away because you want to not be an Israelite. For all y'all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, look, that's what y'all say. Oh, yeah. Y'all, you Taino? Yeah, how Dominican, how you not going to be an Israelite? But anyway, y'all would be better off being an Israelite because when judgment comes, it's a wrap. But I appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. Until next time, uh, shalom. Until next time, man.